Jay Learners, this is Is Engineering. This time we're going to talk about types of chemical bonding. Have you tried pulling a piece of paper apart until it tears off? Or have you tried pulling a steel bar until it breaks off? The paper was torn off because your force was way too larger than the strength of the particles of the paper to hold on to each other. But you did not ever break a steel bar because your force was way too smaller than the strength of the particles of a steel bar to hold on to each other. In chemistry, these particles are composed of atoms, and these atoms are bonded with the other atoms through sharing or exchanging of electrons. Basically, chemical bonding is the attraction between atoms. Ions are molecules that enables the formation of chemical compounds. There are three common types of chemical bonding. These are ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and metallic bonding. Let us discuss the types of bonding one by one. To start with, ionic bonding. Ionic bonding occurs between metal and non-metal atoms. It involves a transfer of valence electrons from metal atom to non-metal atom which then both atoms become stable. Each atom bearing a positive or negative charge is called ion. Because of the transfer of electrons, the metal atom have a net positive charge and the non-metal atom have a net negative charge. The ion that carries a positive charge is called cation, while the ion that carries a negative charge is called anion. Basically, ionic compounds have high boiling and melting points, and mostly, they form as crystals. They can conduct electricity if they are dissolved in water and exist as ions. Lastly, they are brittle and easily broken down into small pieces. The second type of bending The covalent bonding Covalent bonding occurs between non-metal and non-metal atoms. It involves a sharing of valence electrons between non-metal atoms for them to become stable. Hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, and many others exist as diatomic molecules, which means that there are two atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine for them to exist. The oxygen atom is covalently bonded with another oxygen atom. The same with other diatomic molecules. In chemistry, the term molecule refers to the covalently bonded groups of atoms. Molecular covalent substances are mostly liquid and gases because the molecules have more freedom to move within the substance. Also, covalent compounds have low melting points and boiling points. So the third type of bonding, metallic bonding. It occurs between metal atoms. Metal atoms achieve a stable form by sharing its outer shell electrons with other metal atoms. The valence electrons of each metal atom are not tightly bound in the nucleus. So each metal contributes all the electrons in its valence shell to other metal atoms in the structure. It may describe as the sharing of free electrons among the structure or sometimes the electrons are called as delocalized electrons. Delocalized electrons mean that it is not associated with any single atom. The electrons then form a sort of sea of electrons within the structure, which is why metal is good conductor of electricity because the electrons move freely between atoms, hence current flows. Metallic bonding is also the reason of other physical properties of metals, such as ductility, thermal and electrical resistivity, conductivity, and many other. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.